hello everyone in today's session we are going to design our form to put some css so we can double click on our, our folder where we have stored our website then we can open on our main website and double click on it you can double click on it it's loading our website so you can see when it comes here to this registration you can see this is our form the way it is so we need to put some we need to put some of the css in this our form so to go we can go to the code that we had uh, generated for this you can go to the desktop then you can uh, launch our editor we can launch our editor that way and then uh, remember we had it as rage.com rage.com because when you can wrote here yeah, you can see we have opened the rage.com here yeah, at the file name so let us apply some css here we are going to have the internal css because we have already started one here we are just going to proceed with it here and then let me just do it so on this we can uh, proceed we can proceed with that so here we have the form and the form we can put the that and then maybe uh, we can have we can start with the border we can have the border and then under the border maybe we can put uh, this to be three pixels three pixels then we can put it to be the solid and then we can give the color we can give it in hexadecimal so here we are going to have this one in hexadecimal we're going to have it in hexadecimal so let me use the in hexadecimal in hexadecimal So you can put it in hexadecimal and here we have this and then remember in hexadecimal we said that we also give it in form of red uh, rgb that is uh, in hexadecimal we value maybe we can have if we have all of them being uh, ff ff and then the other one being maybe uh, another one green being ff and then black being the blue being ff and then maybe we uh, we can uh, uh, give that remember this one is a white color this is 255 255 and if we try to load it here uh, it gives a white color so let us give a different color so that we can see if it uh, works because already here uh, it's already you know it Maybe we can give here to be that way. Yeah, good. And there you can see now we have the border to our a border to our a border to our form and then let us try to add another css to it we see if it is going to work and the other css that we can have maybe we can have the input 
let us uh, have the here input then here we are going to have the input input and in this input we can be so uh, uh, much category uh, we can have the input and then under the input we can maybe apply this and this input maybe we can uh, uh, give it to be a uh, width and give the width uh, maybe this width we give it to maybe under uh, 100 uh, percent and then maybe we can give the padding the padding maybe this we can give it to be uh, maybe we can give it to be 12 13 13 pixels we can give it to be 13 pixels and maybe 25 pixels Then we can also give a margin of 10, a margin, maybe here, we can give it to be a margin of maybe uh, 10 pixels. then we can also give yeah and then display and also give the display and then the display we can see this inline block can say that is a the inline block and then here we can give the border and then we can give the border to be we give this one to be continue to be in two pixels and uh, two pixels and then we can give it to be solid and then we can give any color we can give any color maybe for my uh, case i can give this and then maybe you can give it to be CD, uh, CD, B, B, then C, C, C. I don't know which color is that, but we can refresh and see. So we can save and yeah, refresh. And there we have our table uh, in that form. So you can see now it covers almost the whole page that way. We have our table that way. We have our table in form of that. So we can also give uh, another side, uh, another CSS here. We give uh, these and then we can say that these are our box size we can give these box size 
you can see box sizing box sizing and then the box sizing you can give and the, the value to be and border and border box I bought a box like that. Then we can try to save it, and then we can reload. You see, and there you can see that is something that has happened to us. So you can see our box; it has come to the size of the box. It has reduced the way it was, and there you can see we can be able to resize our good. So let us give the style to this button. We give a style to that button. Also, so we, what we need, we just need to have this one being button. And then we can give uh, this. Here we can start with the background col color. background color and here in our background color we can uh, give we can give uh, this one to be maybe we can give ash and maybe you can give maybe zero four then maybe you can give it to be a and then I can give it to be the B and then I can give it to be six then I can give this one to be D I don't know which color is this but we can reload and see if there is that color that exists which I think it exists because it is in the range of what we know and then we can give the text our text to be uh, a text color and this one you can give the color name by name which is white remember white we have said it is ash ff uh, and then uh, maybe here i can give the padding so i can give the wind this wind to be maybe hundred percent and then I can save this and then I can try to load my face and there you can see what has happened to it and then maybe I can give also the style I can give the opacity there we can give this one to be uh, 0 0.9 uh, that way so remember you can give as many CSS as many styling to your uh, to your website to look it so uh, nice and that's how you can uh, put the CSS to your form and that's bring us to the end of this uh, session I was your trainer uh, Maurice Monene if you found this video of any importance to you please consider subscribing like and share it so that we can reach more people to have the same uh, knowledge thank you very much